Hello. In this ALICE 3 tutorial, we're going to learn about object markers and camera markers. Object and camera markers act like bookmarks for the location and orientation of an object or the camera. Let's go to set up scene. So we're going to start by creating a bluebird and we're going to create some positions to move him throughout the tree. We'll select the flyer class, then take a bluebird, drag him here, hit OK. Make sure he's selected, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to move to look at the size. So we'll change the width to 0.6, and this will adjust the height and depth proportionally. There we go. He's a little bigger now. So let's move him to his initial position. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select Move. So I'm going to move him kind of under there, and I'm going to hold the Shift key. So then I can move him on the Y axis, put him up there. Let's actually move him a little forward more. Now that I want to turn him, so I'm going to do rotation. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to turn his rotation. There we go. That's a good starting position. So again, making sure he's selected, I'm going to go down. And I'm going to go to Object Markers, and I'm going to say Add Object Marker while he's selected. And then we'll call this Blue Bird 1. This is the first position of the Blue Bird. Hit OK. So that created an object marker. You can't see it real well because the Blue Bird's on top of it. Now I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to go back to move. I'm going to select the blue bird again, and I'm going to move him out of the way. So we can see that object marker there. So let's say we have the object marker in the wrong position. What we can do is we can have the blue bird selected, and then we can click this, which will move the object marker to the blue bird's current position. Now I don't want that, so I'm going to hit undo. Now also what we could do is, let's say I accidentally move the bluebird away. I can move the bluebird back to the object marker's position. So we can see bluebird arrow object marker. And there we go, put the bluebird back there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the bluebird to the second position. So let's move him here. I'm going to move him a little bit down on the y-axis. There we go. And then I'm going to click on him again, and I'm going to record a second position. So I'm going to go to Object Markers. I'm going to add a second object marker. I'm going to call this Blue Bird 2. And then finally, I'm going to move him to a third position. So let's go up, make sure the Blue Bird selected in the Move. So I'm going to move him over here. I'm going to have him facing a different direction, so I'm going to choose Rotation. I'm going to rotate him. Now I'm going to go back down to Object Markers, and add another Object Marker. We'll call this Blue Bird 3, and we'll hit OK. So let's move our Blue Bird back to the original Object Marker. So I'm going to click on Blue Bird 1, and I'm going to click on the icon to move the Blue Bird to the selected Object Marker. And there we go. He moved and oriented himself back to Bluebird 1. So now let's write some code to move the Bluebird from Object Marker 1 to Object Marker 2 to Object Marker 3. So we hit Edit Code, and we've got the Bluebird selected. We've got a variety of move commands. We could move him towards the Object Marker. We could move him away from. We could move him to the Object Marker. And this would put him at the next Object Marker but he wouldn't change the way he was facing. So if we want to change the Bluebird's position and orientation, we have to go down to Move and Orient To. So we'll drag Move and Orient To up here, and we're going to go down, Move and Orient To this Bluebird 2, which is our second object marker. Then we'll get Move and Orient To again, and then we'll choose the third object marker. So let's run the program. We see he moves from 1 to 2 to 3. I'm going to slow this down just a little bit, so it's a little easier to watch. So we're going to set the duration to 2 seconds. It defaults to 1 second. Run that again. There we go. He's flying to there, and then he's flying to there. Now let's look at camera markers. So we're going to go back to set up scene, and we're going to scroll down to camera markers. Now, a camera marker will record the location and orientation of the camera. It's usually a good idea to first thing make a camera marker of your initial camera position. That way you won't lose it. 
So I'm going to say add camera marker. And I'm going to say initial position. And we'll hit OK. Now, what I want to do is I want to move it where I get a better view of the blue bird at his first position. So I'm clicking and dragging here. OK. Want the second one to be in view too because he's going to fly over there. So this seems like a good starting position. So we'll say camera position one. You can call them whatever you want. Okay, now let's make one that gets a better look at the second position. So we're going to go, I'm going to actually use these controls to move down a little bit, move forward a little bit. We can also, you know, angle it a little bit or we can click and drag. So now I'm going to add another camera marker and we're going to call this camera position two. We'll hit OK. Now let's say I decided I didn't quite have the camera marker in the right place. So I want to move it over just a little bit. Okay, so I want to move camera position two to that new location that I'm at. So I see that camera position two is pink. So I'm going to move the pink camera to my current location. And there we go. We saw the camera marker move to where I'm at right now. Now also, maybe I want to move my current camera to a different camera position. So let's say I want to move it to camera position one. So I'm going to click on camera position one, and then I'm going to see move my current camera to the marker for camera position one. And there we go. But I don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to select camera position two. I'm going to move my current camera back to camera position two. Now, finally, let's do something for camera position three. So let's move this way a little bit. Let's go down a little bit. You know, turn it a little bit. That's a good angle for that third position for the bird. So I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to say add camera marker and we'll call this camera position three and hit OK. Now let's say we want to see where the camera markers are. So I'm going to scroll my mouse wheel. I'm going to back up and I can see all these different camera markers. So let's select initial position and then we're going to move the camera back to the red initial position. Okay, let's go to edit code. So we're going to add some more code. So I'm going to drop down here and select this camera. So there's only one actual camera it's just we've got these different markers that we can move it around to. And while we see object markers and camera markers in the edit and the code view, when we run it, we won't see them. So the first thing I want to do is I want to move and orient the camera to camera position one. Now, if we just wanted to move it to the physical location, we could just say move to. However, we want it also to be facing in the same direction as a camera marker. Okay, so we have it move, the camera move and orient to camera position one. Then we have the bluebird move and orient to the second position. Then we're gonna have the camera move and orient to camera position two. Then the bluebird moves to the object marker bluebird three. Then we're gonna have the camera move and orient two camera position three. So let's run it and we'll see the blue bird moving to the different object markers and then we'll see the camera moving to the different camera markers. And there we go. So you can see how you can use object markers and camera markers as bookmarks to move different objects and the camera to different preset locations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.